Lots of good frothing soap action right here. Hello friends and welcome to Tony's Reviews. Today I'm going to be reviewing an item that I'm kind of excited about and this is the car wash cannon from Ontel. I think this is an uh, As Seen on TV item. Uh, it's in the As Seen on TV item at Walmart. That's where I got this at. It was around $20. There will be an Amazon link in the description of this video and also one of the comments if you want to check one of these out after the video. Uh, I got pretty excited about it because on the cover here it shows that all you got to do is hook this thing up to your garden hose, put any soap in here it says, and then you spray your car down with this thing you see right there and then you rinse your car and then right there it says amazing so your car is supposed to look amazing after you use this so i'm not going to waste a whole lot of time i'm going to unbox this real quick then we're going to step outside i'm going to spray my car down with this thing and then as soon as it dries we're going to take a look at it and we're going to see if this thing does look make your car look amazing once it's done so let's get started all right okay so we've got this thing opened up here and we see here we've got the actual car wash cannon itself and it's got the soap dispenser or the soap container right there and then it comes with this spray nozzle right here so you see you got, you got the sprayer right here and then it comes with this little doodad right here and i think this is what froths the soap up maybe not sure yet right here we've got a dialer it's on level two right now but this thing actually goes up to five different levels and the higher the number, the more soap this thing uses. So it's kind of up to you on how much soap you want to use. And anyway, just wanted to show you that feature. And something that I wanted to point out, like you might see on some other garden hoses, you've got this little lever right here that you can pull back and that way you don't have to keep holding this thing down as it sprays. The assembly on this car wash can looks pretty easy. It shows that you stick this thing into here so you got the this foamer it calls it a foam nozzle it's right here you plug that in there and then right here you put that oop, you put that onto there and it kind of pulls back like if you're you know as if you were using maybe an air compressor or something and that locks into place so now you've got that going on there and then what you'll do is is you'll put soap in there and it's just to fill the soap up to there i guess and then you put this back on and then you hook this up to a standard garden hose and you start spraying this on your car. All right, so let's take this outside and spray it on my car and look at it before and after. I'm not sure what kind of a garden hose that this goes with, but it does have this adapter just in case you were wondering. So I wanted to give a good honest uh, before look of my car here so you can check it out. Got some dirty spots over here you can see there. Got some, got some maybe some real light bird poop and it's kind of dirty. Look down here. Got some water spots around the wheels here. Check that out. Take a look. I think it looks pretty good right now, but let's use the car wash cannon and see if it looks amazing. And if you needed to know, I'm using Dawn dishwashing liquid here. And I'll be using level two on this as I wash my car today. And then once I'm done soaping up the car, I'll put this on level zero and then I'll rinse off my car. I changed my mind, I'm using level four. All right, so I've discovered that this thing actually does blast pretty good. You just can't hold the, you can't hold it in all the way. You just kind of got to give it a little bit. Uh, you just got to give a little bit of pressure on the handle. It truly is cannoning um, soap on my car now. I mean, it's really frothing it on there really good. So check that out. So that's doing a pretty good job now. At first, I was giving it a full throttle, and it was wasn't putting off much soap. So now we're we're getting tons of soap. I mean, that's like car wash quality soaping right there. Uh, so I'm I'm pretty pleased with this action right here so far. Lots of good frothing soap action right here. Wow, that's nice. I was a little worried at first. I thought, well, you give it all the give it as much pressure as you can. Well, that's not the case on this thing. You want to just kind of give it a medium pressure, and it really puts that uh, soap soapy water out. Got the top good and soapy, and now we're gonna rinse this baby off. Okay, we've got this on level zero now. Let's see if we can rinse. Got the good rinse going. Seems to be rinsing pretty good. Get all that soap out of there. Now I'm rinsing off the other side. Mm -hmm. 
So now that we've got my car washed and rinsed, it says all we've got to do is let it dry. So we're going to let it dry and take a good look at it. All right, I just want to show you real quick. What I've done is I went ahead and towel dried this side of the car. So just showing this is after I've used the car wash cannon. You can see I still got a few little spots over here. And down here there's a couple of little spots. But the car is clean and I think it's probably salt free right now maybe. <laughs> so you can check it out. I think it looks pretty good. So you can get a good look there. It's not perfect, but you know, even if you go to an expensive car wash, it's you know never perfect. But I think it looks okay for doing something at home. Still got a little bit of dirt around the wheel wells. And we're still air drying over on this side, so not quite dry yet. The side that I towel dried actually turned out pretty good. I mean, there still was a little dirt here and there, but you know, you can kind of expect that. I can just tell you that the side over here that I'm just letting air dry, uh, it's got lots of little water spots on it. It's still uh, wet in a few places, but you can see underneath there, there's tons of little water spots. So you can't just uh, spray this thing down and then rinse it. Um, you know, like I said, I have well water, live in the country. Uh, maybe if you live in the city, it'll be different. I do have a water softener. I don't know how well it's working right now, but uh, you can see right here that we, we have some uh, water spots on here. So just letting it air dry didn't work out too great, but you know, just running a towel over it pretty quick, did a pretty good job. So I went ahead and towel dried the rest of my car and I think it actually turned out really good. So now that it's been towel dried, it all looks pretty uniform. Not too many water spots on there now. Turned out pretty good. Like I said, it's not perfect. I think it's good to get some of the dirt off there. So after towel drying it, I think it turned out halfway decent. So the whole thing now is towel dried and it looks all right. On the box here, it says no bending, no buckets, no scrubbing. And I will agree with no buckets, but as far as the scrubbing goes, I think to really get the dirt and grime off of there, you might have to do some scrubbing. And that's just my opinion. After giving my car a good generous soaping down, this still had quite a bit of soap left in it. So I think I would have had plenty enough to do probably about three cars with just one fill. Today I'm using a Zero G garden hose. This is my favorite garden hose I've ever used. There will be an Amazon link in the description of the video and also one of the comments for this hose. So for my final thoughts on the car wash cannon, I do think it adds a level of convenience because if you're somebody that washes your car at home and you, you know, kind of the old fashioned way and you use uh, dishwashing soap and that sort of thing, normally you would use a bucket and, you know, a sponge. So in a way it does kind of save you a step. So you screw this thing on there and it froths up your car real good. You can get it done really quick and then you can get to rinsing pretty quick. So I think that is an added bonus. Uh, but as far as cleaning your car goes, as far as getting all the dirt and everything off of it, I don't think this is any kind of a miracle or anything. And personally, I'm not real crazy about washing my own car. I've used, uh, you know, good car washes, you know, the kind you drive into for a number of years now, and I'll probably continue using those. But if you're somebody that washes your car at home and you're just using the old bucket and dishwashing soap method, I think this might really help you out. So it, you know, it turned out to be a pretty good item if you're going that route. And the final steps in the picture on the box, it says that your car looks amazing at the end. Does your car look amazing? Well, in my opinion, I think it looks okay. So amazing, maybe not. All in all, it did a decent job but it's not so super good that I'm going to switch from using you know the standard drive-through car wash. If you enjoyed this video today please hit the thumbs up. If you know anybody that might need one of these car wash cannons please share this video out. I want to thank you so much for tuning into Tony's reviews today and God bless you.